all right everyone welcome back now from this lecture we are going to start working on basically building our application now if you are not familiar with how laravel works um, then you should probably check the uh, laravel for beginner tutorials uh, because if you do not know how the application of the system works because this is not really about just the basics so i have another course published um, sorry not the course uh, uh, basically another playlist uh, published on this channel so that is basically where I am teaching the basics of Laravel so you should first um, watch the, those series uh, those uh, lectures and then come back to this um, series now from today we are actually going to start working and building our Laravel application now um, let's basically first of all create uh, the Laravel application so what I'm going to do is basically I will definitely use this option where uh, composer global you can so this is basically I have already set it so I will just use this command line to create a new um, Laravel application so all I need to do is basically uh, go into our ZAMP so I have already installed this ZAMP here and um, I'm going to create a new folder or maybe just uh, open the terminal here and just type in laravel new lms so this is what i'm going to basically name the project uh, learning management system you can call it all right so i have named it directory um, and the starter kit definitely no starter kits and we can go for the php unit test instead of pest uh, and then it will basically start um, the application uh basically install the application and then uh, once this is done i will come back to this video so after the installation the last part that we need to do is basically uh by default the laravel will use sql light so we actually need to shift to mysql and uh once that is done so this will ask do we need to basically run the migration so hit enter and that will run the migrations for us now what we need to do is basically if you go to the uh, php my admin so what this laravel application does is basically uh, behind the scenes what it did is that it created the database for us and also ran the migration so now let's open the um, basically this lms folder in our code editor so i am going to open it in php strom which is basically i use always for my all projects and let's basically uh, run this application to see if everything is working um, and then we also don't need to do that and finally let's run the application so in order to run the application what we need is basically we need to run php artisan serve i hope so that you have the basic idea of how the laravel application works and there we go we have this one set up and we have this um, lms database created and all the um, tables are also created and if you take a look at the dot env file so you will see that we have the um, database credentials somewhere here let me see that there we go so we have the lms username root and the password is empty all right now the that's basically uh, pretty much it for this series we have installed the laravel um and then we just opened the application definitely um, that that's just just a small thing so um before actually wrapping up this thing let me show you uh, which theme we are basically going to use so that's totally depend on you whatever the theme that you prefer you want to use uh, since this theme is basically purchased um i have the paid version of this theme this is basically called the view xe so i'm going to use that and definitely you can choose any template that you prefer so if I just uh, want to show you how this looks like, so this is basically how this application, uh, sorry, the theme will look like. We have um, the different sort of dashboards here and the academy dashboard is the one that will basically 
um, feel really um, up to date with our application and definitely we can grab some of the other tools from or some of the other components um, that's what you call what you can say to these cards um, in in the uh, in our theme all right so from the next lecture what we are going to do is basically we are going to set up this theme so if you want to have this theme what you can do is basically you can go for search for view xc and that will take you um, to their website and definitely here you have a lot of options you have in laravel as well you have laravel view version you have html version so i preferly um, use html version i just convert it into the laravel um, the reason is that because sometimes the La their laravel framework is not really up to date um, and the other thing is that they have different patterns of uh, configuring the theme uh, whereas i prefer the other way of configuring or uh, configuring the theme in my laravel applications all right so that's it for this section um, that's about it and i will see you in the next one